How's it going, everybody? This is Golden Bolt, and welcome back for some more Pokemon Gold. Last time, we defeated both Erika and Janine over in Kanto, and I say Kanto because we are actually in Johto right now, hiding in the grass. No, but uh, the reason we're here is because... Well, it actually has been a while since I've uh, recorded episodes, I'll be honest. Um, and that, I haven't recorded episodes because I've been training up a Haunter. I got to level 40 just because I figured 40 was good, and I, it knows the moves. Hypnosis, Dream Meter, Nightshade, and Mean Look. Um, it's also holding an X speed, and I bought it a few carbos to raise up its speed because it also... Yeah, I said Mean Look. Um, because we're going to be... Encountering and capturing the one and only Entei, who is here south of Ecruteek, which is where we are right now. So, well, excuse me, I burped. <laughs> um, that was great. Um, yeah, my plan here is to go for a mean look, trap it in place, and pray that it doesn't use Roar, and then uh, put it to sleep with Hypnosis. Now, Roar will make me escape from battle, and uh, doesn't help. If we can pull off a sleep, like Hypnosis... That would be great. It almost would be nicer to just go with Hypnosis, but I'd rather, I don't know, feel safe with it. Uh, using Mean Look so it can't escape. Um, I'll admit this is another take because, uh, I'm in a different location. This is a different take than the first time because, uh, Ante did use Roar and I had to chase it. And here it is! It was actually south of Blackthorn last time, and it is the one and only Ante, the legendary. Fire dog. I'm not sure why I said it like that, but hey, whatever. All right, come on. Don't use roar on me. Don't you use roar? Don't do it. 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 Don't. No. 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 Hey. Use fire spin. The worst. Hey, we're both trapped. How about that? It's a fight to the death. I'm hurt by fire spin. How about you go to sleep? Don't use roar. Okay, I just really gotta hope. He doesn't use Roar. Come on, Haunter. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on. Uh, st stop using these stupid things. Fire Spin is the worst fire move. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. You are sleeping now. Yes! Sweet! It worked! Ha <laughs> ha! And it's still using Fire Spin. Which is going to get annoying. I was kind of hoping it would just stick to Ember, but hey. We'll use Dream Eater and get some of our HP back. And my strategy worked! It took- it takes a good amount of luck for that thing to work, and holy crap, that did a lot more damage than I expected. Yep, yep, just stay sleeping, it's okay. Just go to sleep. Hopefully he doesn't wake up, because that'd be a bummer, I'll tell you that. Alright, one more Dream Eater should do the trick. And then we'll start throwing uh, Ultra Balls at it. I do have a ton left over from Lugia. And alright! Sweet! In the red and sleeping and- WHAT?! Okay, I thought- I totally thought he was going to use Roar for a minute. Why are you using Fire Spin again? Why do you have to wake up, you dumb- Go back to sleep. Back to sleep. Back to sleep. Ha <laughs> ha! This is how you deal with legendaries. Well, take a few days, level up a Haunter. I actually leveled up Haunter by, uh, defeating the Elite Four again. It was actually kind of fun. Alright, come on, Entei! Come on, Entei. Come on, Entei. One, two. Oh. <laughs> of course not the first try. I do like that it's trapped and sleeping, we just have to pray it doesn't use Roar, because that's extremely annoying. That, uh, the, the main strategy that people use is easily countered. Eh? Eh? Don't wake up. Sweet! Alright. I didn't actually think this was going to take a full part. For some reason, I was just like, eh, it's Entei, it'll take, it'll be really quick. No, of course not. It's going to take, like, an episode like Lugia. Come on, Ente. Oh, it's just it's just teasing me now. It was like two, one, zero. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna break out of the Pokeball even though my dreams have been eaten and I can't move and I'm sleeping. That makes sense. Keep fueling my Come on, Ente, don't be that guy. At least I at least he is staying asleep. The first time he's he slept for like two turns. He's staying asleep a lot for this this time. Um Heart Gold Soul Silver, Dusk Balls are great. Just so you know, for this kind of thing, if you go at night, Dusk Balls are fantastic. Most of my uh, legendaries in Heart Gold, Soul Silver are caught with Dusk Balls. Just cause uh, Dusk Balls help at night and in caves. And two, three. Oh! Oh no! No no no! Oh! I don't like when you wake up, Entei. I don't like it at all. He's giving me a freaking heart attack. God. Back to sleep. That. I like how hypnosis is cost. I, I probably just jinxed it. I just jinxed it, didn't I? Uh, 
This is an extremely risky thing to come back into recording this with. Come on, Ente. Come on, one. Don't wake up. Don't you wake up on... Okay. Good thing is that I don't have the annoying fire spin going anymore. Otherwise, I'd just be annoying. Come on, Ente. Get in the ball. It's just, it, he's not even letting it happen now. He just screws with me. Look at his face. He's just like, <laughs> Entei's got that smug look on his face. He's the smug leaf of this generation. Which would have been hilarious if that was actually Snivy's uh, name. That would have been so funny. I would have laughed and the internet would have cheered. You could have heard it probably. Come on, one of the three legendary beasts I'm going to be using my Master Ball. Entei is not one the one I'm going to be using my Master Ball on, as you can uh, plainly see. So now it looks like I have like three slaves. I have like uh, the Red Gyarados. This That sounded weird, I have three slaves. I have the Red Gyarados, I have Slave of HM, and I have Haunter, which I should kind of nickname uh, Evil Eyes or something. One, two, three, and BOOM! Sweet! Got ourselves an Entei, alright! Didn't take a whole episode. Okay. And Vol Ente, Volcano, 611. This thing is gigantic. Volcanoes erupt when it barks. Unable to restrain its extreme power, it races headlong around the land. Nope. That is all. Thank you. Sweet. We got ourselves an Ente. Now, um, I'm actually going to go back for, uh, uh, back to Kanto, uh, through the Magnet Train. Back to Fuchsia, which is where we were, and so I will see you guys, uh, over there. Alrighty, and we're back here in Fuchsia City. Now, I promised because, uh, <clears throat> we haven't seen the entirety of Fuchsia City yet, and we've seen the entirety of every other gym, gym, every other, uh, area, that I would come up here to show you how disappointing it actually is. You actually have to cut to get up to the Pokemart. I know. Stupid. Like, seriously, there aren't even Pokemon in here anymore. What do these people even have to say? Kuga's daughter succeeded him as the gym leader after he joined- Yeah, okay. I told- But you knew that already. I told you. I told you that. Alright, um, yeah, as we can see, they, uh, the world then is traveling abroad. I said he's dead. They took the door off the Safari Zone. So, er sorry for everybody who works at the Safari Zone. That kind of sucks that they're trapped in there forever. Um, berry up here. And it's a burnt berry. Sweet. I will take it. Alright, I'm so glad that that thing with Entei worked. That is, that's great. I was, I really was, had my doubts and was wondering, I, I was putting it off, I was going to do it earlier, but, uh, I ended off, I ended up, uh, doing it now and, uh, it worked. There's totally an item here. No? Oh my gosh. So this is, uh, how depressing Fuchsia City is. Because this place was bustling before. There's, like, there's literally nothing here anymore. And it's a bummer. It really is. Um, can we even... Alright, this is that weird cafe thing, apparently. Um, well that was the use we had for Slave OHM, so I'm gonna go put him back, and then we're going to do a bit of exploring in this episode. I think we're going to halt from doing the next gym, just to do a little bit of exploring, and there's been somebody I've been wanting to reunite with, so, uh, we're going to do that. So see you guys in a second. Alrighty, and that's all we see of Slave HM in this episode. Now, actually, um, interesting thing, if you come down here, I actually wonder if this guy will give you a little preview of it. Cinnabar's volcano erupted. It hurled boulders that cut off the route, R Route 19 indefinitely. I wonder if people of Cinnabar are safe. Why don't you go find out? Yeah, as you can see, you can't go down this way anymore because of these rocks. Again, why Kanto has been scaled down so much. They've, these are apparently boulders of from Cinnabar Island's eruption. And we've got these twins here. Sorry, this road is closed for construction. If you want to get to Cinnabar, you better go south from Pallet Town. Pallet Town? Who knows how long it would take to move this boulder. Yeah. That's a real bummer, and I'm actually... Because I don't want to just constantly overload you guys with gym battles, we're actually going to go down to Cinnabar Island just for a visit. And as I said, there's somebody I want to meet. Um, sadly, we can't fly to Pallet Town yet, so we're going to have to go uh, this way. Uh, you're... Wait, I probably already battled you. Really? The last patch of grass? Alright, so we're going down this way. As you can see, uh, this would have been Viridian Forest, but it doesn't really exist anymore. It's kind of just a maze. Yeah, apparently an entire forest got demolished. These aren't even headbutt trees either. I don't think. Nope. Um, 
Is there an item here? Nope. Man, they they keep putting these weird patches out of the ground and it looks like there's items. And I don't really care about that house at all. Hey, a cure for all your PSN problems. Um, yeah, I'll worry about that later. Uh, as I, yeah, as you can see, there's, oop, hello, last item. There, that was Verdian Forest, or what used to be Verdian Forest. Um, kind of a bummer that it got reduced that much. But it did. Hello, other bug trainer guy that I'm not going to be fighting, because I'm pretty sure you have the worst Pokemon ever. Anyway, we are here in Viridian City, where our adventure be kind of began three years ago in our other incarnate form, and this old man is still kicking. Hey kid, I just had a double shot of espresso, and I'm wired. I need to talk to someone, so you have to do. I might not look much like now. I was an expert at catching Pokemon, do you believe me? Yeah, sure. Good, good. Yes, I was something out of the ordinary, let me tell you. What does he say if you say no? I don't actually remember. Uh... What, you little whelp? If I were just a bit younger, I'd show you a thing or two. Yeah, you'd make our... We'd have our animals fight each other. Now, this is actually a cool place that we'll be going to in a little bit. Trainer House, the club for top trainer battles. I'm actually not going to be covering this just yet. I will cover it. It's actually a cool place where I remember spending a good amount of time. Um, I'm not going to do too much besides, you know, go in there and explain it a little bit, but, uh, we'll be going there later. Mainly, we're just passing through Viridian City in this, oh, wait, I forgot about this guy. In this episode, um, we'll be coming back here, definitely, where we'll do a little bit more of exploring. This is actually, I'm just going to do this now. I had this dream about a drowsy eating my dream. I had this dream about a haunter eating Entei's dreams, and then me throwing an Ultra Ball at it and catching it in one take. That was one take, by the way. It was. Well, I guess technically not one take, because the first time he used Roar uh, beneath Blackthorn, as I was saying, and, made, and I had to escape. But, uh, or he made me leap. Wait, okay. I was like, where am I going? But I'm going the right way. I haven't lost my mind. And Route 1. Aw, the memories. And a Bitterberry. That's different. That's not on Route 1. There's actually a trainer here. The guy that used to give you a potion, I actually... Yeah, this guy. Oh, whoa, he totally looked at me. He actually is a, uh... I'm pretty sure that's a guy who gave you a potion. I might be wrong. But, uh, actually, I think he turned into a girl. It's weird. No wild encounters. Thanks! And, oh, we're here in Pallet Town. Oh, I feel so at home here. Everybody should. If you if you play Pokemon and you ever visit Pallet Town, it just makes all your problems go away. As we can see here, Red's house. Red? No, this is my house. This is my old house. My past incarnate's house. Wait, what? who is this Red? Who are you? Hi. Red's been away for a long time. He hasn't called either, so I have no idea where he is or what he's been doing. Good parenting. Once again, she stepped up her parenting so much. Just kidding. I do worry about him. And speak- Oh, I was gonna say, that's my mom, but nope, it's Anthony. Good evening, it's me, Anthony. Got a minute? Want to battle? Anthony, you want to battle constantly. Between you and Wade and Gina, it's like, let's just go have a picnic and just battle each other consistently. wonder if the TV's still on. They have programs that aren't shown in Johto. <laughs> Weird. And, uh, yeah, again, good parenting. She just lets this random stranger go up to her son's house and play with his Nintendo 64. Yeah, play the N64. Better get going. No time to lose. What did I do? Did I push A? And then I was like, nah. Uh, what do we got here? It looks like it hasn't been used in a long time. Yeah, it hasn't been used since I took the potion out. Yeah, this is weird. It's like going back to my old house. By other mom, not really my mom though. And, uh... Uh, for spoilers, not in there. We're going to go in here, and hello. Hi, my kid brother is the gym leader in Viridian City. But he goes out in town so often, it causes problems for the trainers. Your brother is the gym leader of Viridian City. Hmm. That's weird. I I have a hunch that we might actually know him, and we may have had a rivalry with him. And hello, Professor Oak. If you remember Oak from uh, both the radio show or... And, uh, you know, we met him in Mr. Pokemon and at the end of the Pokemon League. He, this is where his lab is. Also, if you don't know Professor Oak and... I've never have played Pokemon. Shame on you! Ah, yeah, Gold, it's good of you to come all this way to Kanto. I know, right? What do you think of the trainers out here? Pretty tough, huh? Nah, not really. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're collecting Kanto gym badges. I imagine that it's hard 
that it's hard, but the experience is sure to, to help you. Hmm. Weird. That's what she said. Can come see me when you get them all. I have a gift for you. Keep trying hard. Gold, how's your Pokedex coming? Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Zerox rating. You're getting good at this, but you have a long way to go. Professor Oak is such a jerk, subtly. Um. Yeah, in the remakes, uh, uh you can actually get... Once you get the gym, uh, Kanto badges, you can get uh, one of the three uh, Kanto starters being Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Pretty cool stuff. Now, as they said, the only way to get to um, uh, Cinnabar Island, which is apparently destroyed, is uh, down this water route. Because we've actually rarely, you actually rarely go down this water route in uh, red and blue or uh, fire red, leaf green. Um, so that's what we'll be doing. It'll be a cool, cool thing uh, next time. So we did actually a pretty good amount of stuff in this episode, uh, well, Ente, I guess that's a pretty big accomplishment for me at least. So uh, I'm thinking, I think I'm going to end it off here, so next time we will go to Cinnabar Island and maybe find somebody we know who we may have had a long rivalry with in our past incarnate self. I'm spo kind of spoiling it, for those of you who have watched my Leaf Green LP, you'll enjoy it. Anyway, um... That's about it, guys. So from me to you, have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time.